Livy Jansa van Rensburg, we're at the SA Rugby Awards 2023, the Glitz and Glam. It happened during the same week as the Oscars and just about a week before the premiere of Chasing the Sun 2. Congratulations, Livy, you are the winner of the Provincial Women's Rugby Player of the Year. Um, wow. Yo, thank you so much. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I didn't know that this was a, an award that was being presented tonight. I'm so honored and I think it just really goes to show the work that the Daisies have been putting in. Mm. I mean, to produce not only a, a championship title last year, but now uh, for a Daisy to receive this, this award is really, it's something really amazing. And I think that the Daisies trajectory at this point is just, I think we're going to hit next levels this season. And um, hopefully the other unions can come on board as well, otherwise we're going to leave them in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you'd say something like that, Libby. Too blessed to stay stressed, in your words. Huh? Too blessed to be stressed, coming to you now from Multi-Choice hey. at the SA Rugby Awards. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, obviously you're nominated as well for um, SA Women's Rugby Player of the, of the Year as well. Good luck with that one. Yes, thank you um, very much. I hope you're enjoying the awards. Quick one. Uh, if you had to choose in your team, in the Oscars theme and the glitz and glam, I see you've got your number ones, you look fantastic, Libby, as usual. Um, who would you say in your team wins best um, action star, best comedy and best drama? Okay, best drama has to go to Charlie. Okay. Suddenly see where Charlie, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen some of her games. I have. She's a great... A uh, manipulator of time on the field, let's mm. call it that. So there'll be strategic breaks, you know, when a prop goes down just to buy some time. Uh, yeah. Definitely drama award goes to her. I think action has to be um, Simon Kele number. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have seen her on the 7th series. I she have. is it's always <laughs> something exciting happening there. And um, I think the last one, which was the last award of comedy. Comedy, mm -hmm. oh, comedy, 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 comedy is a tough Who's one. Bringing that laughter. You're always laughing. I think I think that's I why. Am, I am always <laughs> laughing. It's a difficult one. I don't think we we really have one standout comedian in our group. I think everyone has their moments. For mm. me, recently, I'll have to say Yunela. Okay. Uh, she's definitely made me laugh throughout, especially my rehab journey. We've been rehabbing together lately, mm -hmm. so she's been keeping the smile on my face. So I'll have to give it to her. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I mean, um, you've come such a long way, Libby. I watched a, a video of yours. I think it was on the Springboks um, YouTube channel where how rugby changed my life and you mentioned that you walked into a store when you're very young and you just you had your choice you choose what you want and you chose that weird awkward <laughs> oval ball um and the rest is history as as you said you yes, know yes so, no, absolutely look this is just stories that my mom told me so i'm just forced to believe it but i can believe it because thinking back of my youth i would never used to play with dolls i wasn't really a, a girly girl in such such aspects um any ball really any sport just being outside being ac active and yeah, look at me now. <laughs> look at you now, the architect of um, Women's Springbok Rugby. You've been fantastic. You've been the nucleus of some huge successes. Um, women's Rugby has come so far as well with the WXV tournaments coming up, um, qualifying for World Cups, you know. Um, anything you'd like to share with um, some of the women out there, some of the little girls out there who now can believe that, look, that's actually a career you can have. Unlike, I'm sure it was difficult for you to actually believe this is a career. No, absolutely. I mean, never in a million years that I think I'd be at the SA Rugby Awards with the boys. I mean, the boys, <laughs> the Springbok men. Like, that's so cool. Mm. Um, but I think for all those little girls, like, don't let anyone put you down. Um, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Our bodies are capable of so much more than we really think. Um, and if you've put your mind to it, look, it's not easy. It's not easy for any of us. It takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication on the field. But if you're willing to put in the effort and the time, you'll reap the rewards. And when you make a mistake, Right, and I've watched you play. You're, you're brilliant. Um, you're, you're a fly off, you're a playmaker. When you do make a mistake, everyone's got that little blooper that happens. Um, how do you react? Of course, I think um, within our team dynamic at the moment, I mean, I'm so blessed to not even, we don't even, I don't even want to call it a team, but like a sisterhood that we've formed now over the past two years, especially working into this next World Cup. We pick each other up so much and there's such a positive environment within our team at the moment. So before I can even have that moment to think, oh, to, or to drop my head, there's already someone picking me up. Mm. And that's mm. what the, the beauty is of a team sport at, at the end mm. of the day. 100%. Libby, thank you so much. Um, good luck with your, your injury, speedy recovery to you. And um, congratulations and thank, thank you, you so much. for changing lives, you know, <laughs> um, making people believe. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much. Thank Love you, Libby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>